Okay, this is uh, day two on this uh, dismantling project. Um, I can say I've definitely felt better. Uh, took a little bit of a tumble towards the end of the day yesterday, and uh, could have been a lot worse than it was, but I'm not feeling 100%. A little sore in a couple places, and um, it's another good lesson to always watch your footing. But uh, back here, and we're gonna knock out as much of this deck today as possible. See where else we can get to. And uh, yeah, try not to, uh, <laughs> try not to get injured. But uh, here I am talking on the camera, you know, moving my, my foot in here at a massive hole. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what we can do today. And got another kind of full cool one to kind of make use of. And uh, then I'll be back here next week for about three days, three full days. And so we'll see what what I can do today. Might have some more help from uh, another staff member, Isaiah. So that's always a plus to have a little bit extra help, especially when it's some bigger pieces like, you know, lifting down these these fencing supports and sections so that'll be very helpful um you know i won't have to kill my back as much but uh yeah let's see what we can do okay so this is uh i guess we, this is week number two um still healing up uh hopefully in the next week or two couple of sore spots get a little bit better so that I know nothing too serious is wrong just super bruised up but yeah so here we are starting off uh, this is Monday I don't know what day it is uh, but Monday of week two uh, actually it's May May 3rd May 3rd and we got some stuff done over here last week and so we're just gonna keep uh, keep knocking it out see how much we can get done today I'm gonna be back and forth you know here and transferring stuff and at a meeting just a little bit so see what we can do okay so before I get uh, too far into today's work this is uh, Tuesday of week two and uh, kind of towards the end of uh, yesterday I started trying to figure out a kind of an easier way of getting these uh, the fencing out and um, I mean obviously you know I think as you start taking stuff apart you learn how it was built and so you stop trying to fight against that you know obviously on this section I just cut the 4 by 4 post out so I have something like that but of course you know there's all these all this hardware all over the place and in order to get to like um, the screws on the very outside of these deck boards, you know, you really don't have access to it. You know, you might be able to get um, a little bit of a, uh, got some. Uh, well, so basically. And some of these screws that are right there at the end, they're not shot on dead on. Sometimes they're at an angle, so it makes it really hard to get a drill back there. So the logical, really the logical way to do this is to take it apart the way that it was built. And as you can see, I've already started um, taking some of these panels off. And basically, as soon as you take that off, you got equal access to all those screws at the edge. And um, this is just the easiest way to do it. And as you can see, I've already made some decent project or progress. And um, it's going a lot faster. And these guys are just, you know, obviously my, my whole idea was trying to keep these together so it'd be easy to uh, install them where they're gonna go. But they're just kind of tied in with screws here and at the bottom in different places. It's not too bad. And then you just have these supports left over. But once you have that, you're able to get all the rest of the decking boards up. So you have got access to all these uh, screws that before I couldn't even get to. 
Um, and it was going to be, you know, if I was going to do the, the whole thing with using the sawzall and cutting the post, I mean, I got to get these things up or I was going to have to crawl under there and then cut it. So this is just a lot easier. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things you're not going to know until you start taking some apart and you realize, OK, this is how they built it. This is going to be the easiest way to actually dismantle it, dismantle it, because just like there's a series of steps to build something, if you reverse it, it's going to be the easiest way to take it apart. Oh, look at that. We got our another wasp nest. These are all all over this place. But yeah, so this is uh, day two of week two, and um, I feel pretty good about um, where I'll be able to get to this week because just because of that simple trick, uh, I have a feeling things are going to go a lot faster. I even uh, I even started taking off some of these uh, supports for the framing, um, but that'll be kind of another story once all these once the um, the fence siding is off and then once the deck boards are off then it'll be tackling the all the framing and uh, we'll go from there see how far we can get okay uh, end of day on this Tuesday uh, another pretty pretty warm one uh, I had some, some clouds when the day first started and some scattered uh, sprinkles but nothing too too crazy but it's pretty warm right now um, yeah so this is the end of uh, day two of week two, week two and uh, made some pretty pretty decent progress was able even able to uh, get in that section right there and uh, get all these boards up de-screwed and all that ready for transport got most of these railings down um, yeah, so quite a quite a bit done today. Tomorrow, um, probably be same thing. Just keep getting these uh, these ramp boards up and uh, see if we can get into um, the bracing and the supports underneath, um, which obviously will take a fraction of the time as the deck boards. And luckily, luckily a lot of the screws you can see because they're all kind of attached to, they have hangers and stuff. So um, there's probably not gonna be as many like sunken counter sucks, sunk screws or sunken screws anywhere um, on the bracing. So that should go a little bit faster than these boards. Um, yeah, so kind of try to knock this area out and just keep moving down that side to see how far we can get. I mean, we've got all these, uh, all these uh, fence pickets, and this was really the way to do it, the way they constructed it, because, I mean, it would have been nice, yeah, to use a sawzall to just cut the sections and then boom, it'd be easy install, but it would just would have been terrible trying to take all those down. So, uh, so yeah, big, big, big difference. So that's there, and uh, it's still open, still got all those boards right there, and still all of that, all of that lovely section to do, but we got a lot of the planters and things, I think there's just maybe two more uh, benches that are over there, and uh, I'm not sure if we're going to take anything else, but I got most of the, uh, most of the planters that we'll be able to reuse, so uh, yeah, another, another highly productive day, just getting a ton of stuff done. Um, but this is, you know, it's a lot, but it's going to be a little bit every day. And that's typically how you, you know, um, that's typically how you do big projects one, one day at a time.